Welcome to Level Learning, a Flowline video training series. Hello again, this is Mark with Flowline bringing you our Level Learning series. And today we're going to be discussing proper fitting selection and basic mounting guidelines to maximize the performance of your Flowline non-contact ultrasonic level sensor. So let's get started. Now no matter what the fitting type we discuss today, you need to be sure that your ultrasonic sensor is always mounted perpendicular to the liquid and located in such that there are no obstructions in the ultrasonic beam path. Flowline ultrasonic level sensors are available in 1 inch and 2 inch transducer sizes. A Viton mounting gasket is included with each sensor and should always be used when installing the sensor. Avoid fitting types or shapes with thick mounting structures located around the transducer threads greater than 3 8 of an inch. Thick walls tend to store and reflect acoustic energy which may interfere with the sensor's operation. For best performance, we recommend the use of flowline plastic fittings or equivalents with thin wall mounting structures that isolate the transducer. There are four standard fitting types, bulkhead, flanges, reducer bushing, and brackets. They are available in a variety of sizes, styles, and materials of construction. Flowline has all the standard fitting types necessary for installation of our sensors and is available to view on our website, flowline.com. Plastic bulkhead fittings are typically used on enclosed polyethylene tanks. They're easy to install. Just cut a hole through the flat tank top, insert the adapter, and thread down the nut. 2 inch is the standard bulkhead fitting size. Use Flowline's 2 inch LM52-2890 low profile adapter. Our 2 inch transducer sensors thread right into the fitting. For 1 inch sensors, add a 2 inch by 1 inch reducer bushing like Flowline's 2 inch by 1 inch thread by thread reducer bushing LM52-1001. Avoid adapters with internal threads or pipe stops forward of the installed transducer. Flange fittings are standard on fiberglass tanks and some metal bulk storage tanks. Select a flange with mounting threads that are above the plane of the flange such as Flowline's one piece 2 inch LM52-2850 with 1 inch transducers use the 2 inch flange and then use a Flowline 2 inch by 1 inch reducer bushing LM52-1001 if you wish to use a blind flange then tap a female thread that is one inch larger than the sensor's transducer and add a reducer bushing such as flow lines thread by thread two inch by one inch LM52-1001. A reducer bushing will provide good isolation of the ultrasonic signal when mounted you must use a reducer bushing that isolates the sensor with a gap between the inner and outer threads. Flow lines 2 inch by 1 inch thread by thread LM52-1001 reducer bushing is ideal for all 1 inch sensors. To avoid acoustic interference you must stay within our maximum riser height versus inner diameter guidelines. Riser height is defined as the distance from the installed face of the transducer to the opening in the tank. The riser ID dictates the maximum riser height that the sensor can be installed on. For example, if the riser ID is 2 inches, then the maximum riser height is 3 inches. If the ID is 4 inches, the maximum riser height is 8 inches. The wider the riser ID, the taller the maximum riser height of the sensor can be. For installation on open tanks, select the flow line LM50 side mount bracket. The adjustable polypro bracket is easily bolted to the tank sidewall or associated mounting apparatus. 
the LM50-1001 has a 2-inch female thread. The LM50-1001-1 includes a 2-inch by 1-inch reducer bushing. Custom fabricated brackets can also be used following the previous guidelines. Thanks for learning with Flowline. Please visit Flowline.com for more level learning videos. At Flowline, we do your level best.